Shelly. Uh, Shelly. Yeah. Uh, FKA Drum. Yeah. I guess he's rebranding. Yeah. Um, that was on my list. Like, um, after we talked about albums, I was going to say, when or when or why do you think an artist should rebrand? I don't know. Is he, when he was out, he, his songs didn't really hit for me. They found, they sounded like bubblegum pop. It was, yeah. I didn't like it. And, and also I think he was, I don't want to use the word diverse, but I feel like Mm-mm. before he rebranded, he tried to do a lot to be popular. Like the style, because yeah. some of his albums had mixed styles. Like he was chasing the sound. Like like he tried to rap. He did that because okay. uh, his what his his number one song was broccoli with uh, Lil Yachty. Yeah, yeah, I didn't. That like was number that one song. song. But um, I liked it a lot. I honestly, this would have been one of this would have been my first listen if Spotify showed it to me correctly. I was because I was looking at new releases, right? For him, for some reason, it showed me he had a new single. Okay. Until you showed me he dropped an album, I went yeah. to his like artist profile. Then it showed me the album, yeah, which has never happened to me. Well, I wouldn't know, right? Would I? <laughs> so, <laughs> so uh, can let's I go to the profile. Yeah. So it just showed me he dropped a single. Um, but I first heard him not first heard, him, but I heard his like rebrand uh, when he did the music video cooking with Grease. I posted like a while back. Yeah, I don't think I listened um, to it, and it was good. I'm like, damn, that was that was the vibe for the day, and the whole album, like. Um, fit that like it was really good did you say hey chris this is uh fka drum or you just posted it no i posted it was the same time uh ro posted he was listening to lupe he's like this is today's vibe or today's album then i posted uh, this is my today's vibe okay i mean i wouldn't lost. at you in the group chat i've yeah. been posting what i'm listening to yeah, it probably got lost in the shovel because yeah. i think y'all started arguing about lupe I don't think we argue about Lupe. Oh of, yeah he said yeah food and liquor is not a classic yeah and the cool is not a classic yeah so shelly got got lost yeah and i was like this is the vibe of the day um but yeah no the whole album was good my favorite de- cooking with grease but exposure such a good song i didn't know he could sing you know he can sing like no. he he was singing like i i feel like he he knows his his limitations because i don't feel like he never like pushed it mm-hmm. where like he's bolting out like uh what's he called like you know just whatever he's he never bolted out lyrics or or that singing where you would think a natural singer yeah i think he knows his his um, limitations and he played really well into it yeah you know he it was great um i said those two songs are easily my favorite um ex- exposure um put on a playlist the one with her was was good too yeah i, I like i like all the features. songs um erica badu song was good the, the summer good. walker feature i kind of wanted more yeah um, but I do like that he, he he's still limited with features, like more than what, like 60 or 70 percent of the songs were him with no features. Yeah, he had three songs with features, um, four different people on like four features yeah. total. But yeah, I liked it. I gave this one an eight. It's a chill album. I listened to it a few times. Yep. Uh, this is one of my favorite drops this yeah. uh, this week. I gave this one an eight. This was my. Second favorite drop of the week. And then you listen to Salusa?